and welcome to the Peppermint Sunflower channel. Recently, I've been poring over seed catalogues, pondering what to grow in my garden this year, and in doing this, I was reminded of a poem by Sarah Coleridge, The Garden Year, and so that's what I'm reading this week. The wooden carvings you'll see in this video were created by my grandfather decades ago. Wood carving was his hobby, and he used to research vase and ornament shapes from different eras and places, and attempt to recreate them in wood. What's wonderful is that he always put a label on the bottom, identifying the type of wood used together with where the shape came from. So, for example, I know all these years later that the inspiration for the tallest vase on the right was a Greek Dinos Attic vase from 600 BC and that it was made in apple wood. It's all the more impressive as this meticulous research was done long before the introduction of the internet. Anyway, on with the poem. January brings the snow, makes our feet and fingers glow. February brings the rain, thaws the frozen lake again. March brings breezes loud and shrill to stir the dancing daffodil. April brings the primrose sweet, scatters daisies at our feet. May brings flocks of pretty lambs, skipping by their fleecy dams. June brings tulips, lilies, roses, fills the children's hands with poses. Hot July brings cooling showers, apricots and gillyflowers. August brings the sheaves of corn, then the harvest home is born. Warm September brings the fruit, sportsmen then begin to shoot. Fresh October brings the pheasant, then to gather nuts is pleasant. Dull November brings the blast, then the leaves are whirling fast. Chill December brings the sleet, blazing fire and Christmas treat. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed both the poem and the video. If you have any suggestions for poems or classic books you would like to hear read on this channel, please drop a note in the comments below. Episodes are uploaded every Sunday. Please do subscribe to make sure you don't miss them.